Hello, class. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. I'm okay. Good, thank you. Okay. What's new today? Nothing? What's new today? Um, in my case, um, a lot of work in my work, in my house. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Hey. Excuse me, hold on. Okay. So yesterday we we're doing what is in the news, correct? Remember? What is the biggest news right now in El Salvador? What is the biggest news in the world? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Correct? Yes. Yes, teacher. Do you do you see my screen right now? Do you see the lady? Yes, I see yes. my Yes. Screen. Okay, so then the next here is instructions. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Do you listen to the news in the morning? Do you listen to the radio? May not, teacher. No. No. When, when you go to work, you don't listen to the radio? No, teacher. I like to listen to um, La Tribu. And a long, long, long time ago, I used to listen to La Choli. He was funny. Yes. <laughs> but then he disappeared. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this listening. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Write the correct number. One. It's seven o'clock and time for the news. First, this just in from the World Health Organization, or the WHO. The WHO has reported that we are facing a potential global epidemic due to untreatable cases of tuberculosis, also known as TB. TB is dangerous because it affects the lungs. The number of cases is growing worldwide, and this has researchers worried. According to a recent study, as many as a third of all known TB cases are untreatable because of new drug-resistant strains. The drugs normally used to treat TB are simply not working. For now, the WHO is planning an international program to educate people about the dangers of TB. Two. And now we have a report on a scandal involving famous 19th century painter Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings. Sunflowers, done in 1888, was recently bought by a large multinational company for several million dollars. Well, the scandal erupted in London yesterday over the authenticity of this painting. An art expert from the Dutch Art Institute is claiming that the painting is a forgery. Authorities are looking into the matter. Three. Next, to Mexico, where Hurricane Pauline pounded Cancun and nearby areas last night, leaving many people homeless. The strong winds and heavy rains made for horrible conditions. Floods and landslides destroyed homes and cars, especially in the beachfront areas. Rescue is particularly difficult because streets are blocked, in most cases, by mud. It's believed that some people are trapped inside their homes and cannot get out. Most people have left their homes and are now safely in temporary shelters. 
Mexican authorities predict that the disaster is going to have a huge impact on the tourist business in Cancun this year. Four. And finally, a story for all you parents out there. How often do your kids push you to your limit? And what do you do about it? One tired and harassed mother from Illinois decided she'd had enough yesterday. Instead of yelling at her children, as she normally would, she decided to leave. She walked out the door and climbed a tree. The tree with her children's treehouse in it, that is. She told her children she had decided to stay in their treehouse until they started appreciating her more. She put a sign in front of the treehouse that said, On strike, no cooking, cleaning, doctoring, banking, or driving until demands met. The children tried to persuade her to come down, but no luck. Finally, one of them had the smart idea of baking their mother's favorite treat, brownies. Well, they must have smelled good because that did the trick. Mom agreed to come down and meet her children at the bargaining table. No word yet on the outcome of those negotiations, though. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more news. Do you know what is a strike? The mother was on strike. No. Okay. Um, no. Remember Neto Mason? Yes. Remember he stopped eating? In church, I'm sorry, in jail, he stopped eating. Oh, okay. Because he went on strike. Mm -hmm. What is strike? Well, yeah. mm -hmm. So then this mother, she went to the tree house on strike for the, for the children. So number one, Listen to the early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? What is this story about, number one? An epidemic. An epidemic. Number two? A scandal. I don't know why it's completed already. And number three, a natural disaster. Number four, an unusual family. Let's listen to the audio again, again, and see what's happening now. Listen to an early morning. Can you hear? Yes. 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 What is each story about? Write the correct number. One. It's seven o'clock and time for the news. First, this just in from the World Health Organization, or the WHO. The WHO has reported that we are facing a potential global epidemic due to untreatable cases of tuberculosis, also known as TB. TB is dangerous because it affects the lungs. The number of cases is growing worldwide, and this has researchers worried. According to a recent study, as many as a third of all known TB cases are untreatable because of new drug-resistant strains. The drugs normally used to treat TB are simply not working. For now, the WHO is planning an international program to educate people about the dangers of TB. Two. And now we have a report on a scandal involving famous 19th century painter Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings. Sunflowers, done in 1888, was recently bought by a large multinational company for several million dollars. Well, the scandal erupted in London yesterday over the authenticity of this painting. An art expert from the Dutch Art Institute is claiming that the painting is a forgery. Authorities are looking into the matter. Three. Next, to Mexico, where Hurricane Pauline pounded Cancun and nearby areas last night, 
leaving many people homeless. The strong winds and heavy rains made for horrible conditions. Floods and landslides destroyed homes and cars, especially in the beachfront areas. Rescue is particularly difficult because streets are blocked, in most cases, by mud. It's believed that some people are trapped inside their homes and cannot get out. Most people have left their homes and are now safely in temporary shelters. Mexican authorities predict that the disaster is going to have a huge impact on the tourist business in Cancun this year. Four. And finally, a story for all you parents out there. How often do your kids push you to your limit? And what do you do about it? One tired and harassed mother from Illinois decided she'd had enough yesterday. Instead of yelling at her children, as she normally would, she decided to leave. She walked out the door and climbed a tree. The tree with her children's treehouse in it, that is. She told her children she had decided to stay in their treehouse until they started appreciating her more. She put a sign in front of the treehouse that said, On strike, no cooking, cleaning, doctoring, banking, or driving until demands met. The children tried to persuade her to come down, but no luck. Finally, one of them had the smart idea of baking their mother's favorite treat, brownies. Well, they must have smelled good because that did the trick. Mom agreed to come down and meet her children at the bargaining table. No word yet on the outcome of those negotiations, though. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more news. Okay, so TB is dangerous because it affects the heart, true or false? False. False. Oh, man. I don't know why. Oh, quiero quitar la respuesta. Okay. Um, what is TB? Do you remember? I'm not yeah, sure what this. it means, but it is about something that affects the lungs. Yes. That's what I remember. Okay. One third of all TB cases, está malo porque all is A-L-L. One third of all TB cases are untreatable, un untreatable. True or false? True. The painting was bought by a wealthy person. What is a wealthy person? It's like being rich. Yes, it's a person with money. Don't get confused between wealthy and healthy. Healthy is salud. Wealthy is money. The painting may be a forgery. True or false? True. Hurricane Pauline has trapped some people in their homes. Is this true or false? Okay, false. I'm sorry, true. Number six is false. The tourist business in Cancun will be unaffected. False. No. The mother left the house to give her children freedom. False. False. The mother agreed to come down from the tree. False. Let's see what's next. We're going to do adverbs in simple past and past perfect. Do you know what is an adverb? It's like, like a word that is before the verb and describes the verb. Yes, exactly. The adverb describes the verb, not the person. The adjective describes the person. The uh, adverb, I'm sorry, describes the verb, correct? This is what we're going to see right now. Let's see. It's true, or that happened before another event in the... Hello, this time we'll look at words like later, the next day, up until then, among others. 
These words are used either with simple past or past perfect. Adverbs with a simple past and past perfect. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe something that happens at a later time. Afterwards, later, the next day, we laughed about it. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe two things that happened at the same time. When, as soon as, the moment I got to work, my boss asked to speak to me. Use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Up until then, before that, until that time, I had never lost anything important. This is a pretty straightforward topic, but we're studying our adverbs of time, which help to clarify when an event or situation in the past took place in relation to another event or situation. If I say to you, I was embarrassed because I called the teacher mom, afterward we all laughed about it. Which action happened first? That's right, I called the teacher mom. What if I say the moment I got in the shower the telephone rang? Again, which action happened first? Perfect. They happened at the same time. And finally, if I say, Anne went to Japan last year. Before that, she had only traveled to Florida. Which place did Anne go to first? Florida, right? So if you notice, the adverbs help us to understand the order of events. Hello, this time we'll look at words like later, the next day, up until then, among others. These words are used either with simple past or past perfect. Adverbs with a simple past and past perfect. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe something that happens at a later time. Afterwards, later, the next day, we laughed about it. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe two things that happened at the same time. When, as soon as, the moment I got to work, my boss asked to speak to me. Use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Up until then, before that, until that time, I had never lost anything important. This is a pretty straightforward topic, but we're studying our adverbs of time, which help to clarify when an event or situation in the past took place in relation to another event or situation. If I say to you, I was embarrassed because I called the teacher mom, afterward we all laughed about it. Which action happened first? You know the only thing here, I don't see the adverbs. Do you see the adverbs? Uh, the afterwards, later. Yeah, but those are not adverbs. Okay, afterwards, later, those are time words because they express time. Adverbs. Really, adverbs, they all finish in li. Slow, slowly. Quick, quickly. So, for example, we have afterwards, later. The next day, we laughed about it. I'm sorry, I. this is not correct. Use, miren, use estos adverbios con el pasado simple describiendo algo que pasó un tiempo después. Afterwards, okay. Later, laughed. That's a verb. It's not an adverb. Okay, let's do this. 
we understand what is the difference between afterwards and later? No, did you? Have you ever heard the expression, the word afterwards? No, teacher. Okay, afterwards is similar to later. It's the same thing. Afterwards and later is the same thing. The only difference is that afterwards is immediately. For example, tomorrow I'm going to go to my office and afterwards I have to come back home. It sounds very polite to say it. I don't know. Yeah, when you say later, later really is not important the time. For example, Claudia, can we talk uh, later? Hasta tarde. Later can be in one hour, tomorrow, tonight. Afterwards is immediately after an action. For example, Claudia, can we talk when uh, after class? Can we talk afterwards? So in that case, I am saying immediately after class or when class is over, can we speak afterwards? So I'm not saying they're later because I am being more specific. That's the, that's the difference. Afterwards is is um is immediately after that action. For example, Bert, what do you do when you wake up afterwards? Mm -hmm. Well, immediately, uh, I drink coffee. <laughs> that's what I do because there's nothing else to wake to wake up because. Then oh, yes. I take a shower. You work from home. I drink. <laughs> Sorry? You work from home, correct? Hi, right, that's right. Yes. Hey, uh, Bert, have you ever had that like claustrophobia feeling working at home? Claustrophobia? No, it's like, it's me too. I work at home. But sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes, I don't know, man. I want to go out. <laughs> Mm, mm, the thing is, I saw introverted person, mm -hmm. and I love to stay indoors. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. But sometimes, sometimes, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I get bored. <laughs> sometimes. Not always. I mean, for example, I will go to San Salvador um, Saturday. So I think that's good enough because I will talk yes. with a lot of people and that's enough for me. I mean, three or more people to be socialized is enough <laughs> for the oh, rest so of the next month. So you're coming to San Salvador? Yeah, I will go to San Salvador. Yeah. Is it business or pleasure? Mm, it's, not, it's nothing related to the business. It, I mean, it's kind of just a personal pleasure. trip. Okay, yeah. pleasure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's yeah, a no, very right. that's a very common question. Oh, you're going to San Salvador. Oh, okay, good. A business or pleasure? Ah, pleasure. Ah, pleasure. Yeah, that's right. Because the uh, that's the only time that I go out from the routine. I mean, every day. And are you going to but stay here, or is a one day trip? A one day trip. Yeah, because I, I would like to stay there, but there I don't have. Any, I mean, when I was living there, it's different because what's different because I had different places to visit uh, with my friend uh, Christian over there. But now uh, I think all is different in a way. So I don't have nobody Ever, else to hang out over there. Do, do you come driving or in bus? Driving. Oh, okay. How much is the bus now? Do you know the super special buses? Five dollars. They are five dollars now. 
Yeah, the reason, uh, this is something personal I want to share with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why, but when after pandemic, I don't want to travel in bus by okay. bus to San Salvador and, and not only because I was afraid of the disease but I realized that recently when I went to San Salvador in bus I feel that feeling that's so sad I mean to, to remember all the what happened in 2020 and it, it reminds me everything and I feel so I mean that's a sad feeling yeah it is so yeah so i decided to go in in in, in car because okay. i don't want to experiment Be again that because i remember there's three types of buses correct the the chicken bus <laughs> that they yeah. they stop everywhere then the, there's the special bus that they doesn't stop but no air conditioning is that el, el, el super special bus that has That's air right. conditioning Five dollars and the regular is three dollars, but I mean I don't as I say I don't know why I feel when I go get to the La Terminal uh, Plaza Nueva Amanecer I feel so I mean I don't know but that feeling is so weird. It is I, I imagine that loneliness. I don't know I mean so maybe I had that impression in my in my subconscious that I feel like. I won't go again in bus because and I don't know. That, that, that's what I feel. And when you come driving, how many hours? Two hours? It, it depends at the time because uh, from San Miguel to the entrance to San Salvador, two hours, but in San Salvador is another hour. Yeah. It sounds well, tired. I recommend you if you come to San Salvador, like let's say if you leave your house, San Miguel, at six in the morning, it's not a good idea because then you will come to San Salvador at eight and it's rush hour. So you want to come to San Salvador like at nine or 10 in the morning, there's no traffic. Yeah, you're right. Uh, last two two weeks ago i went to the Salvador and i leave from at seven in the morning and it was so 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 cool i mean three hours i mean i was yes uh, but other times maybe four hours i mean the traffic is stuck i mean it's so horrible it is yes that's true all right Okay, so then these are um, these are the examples of afterwards, later, the next day. What is as soon as? Tan pronto como sea posible. Yeah. Y en buen salvadoreño, ¿qué sería as soon as? Para ayer. Actualito. No, no, as soon as is, okay, let me give you an example. Call me as soon as you get home. No más. Al no más, yes. <laughs> that, that would be the Salvadorian way of as soon as. Al no masito. Let's see. Okay, listen. Instructions. Match the sentences with the... So, match the sentences with the illustration. Read the sentences and type either A or B according to the picture. So, what do you see in picture A? A person is filling a glass of water. Good. I like I like the verb that you said, spill. 
or dropping. No, it's actually spill. When, when it's something liquid, it's spill. Derramar, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, and what are you seeing in B, in picture B? You see a car accident, correct? Yep. Someone like crashing another car. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not crash. Crash is, is more serious. Maybe this is somebody hit the car because oh, there's a hitting. Yeah, hit is hit. Yeah. Crash is, is months. More yeah. speed, right? So yes, it's like heavier or something more serious. All right. So this morning I was on my way to work. A or B? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, listen. Esta mañana iba al trabajo when it looks like this, right? When I hit another car. Mm -hmm. When I hit another car. Last night, I was telling a joke at a dinner party. That's it's, A. That's A. Um, I was backing my car up the garage and I crashed into my neighbor's car. B. Okay, so I don't crash, but hmm. I, I got to the punchline. I knocked the glass of water on the floor with my hand. Do you, underst do you understand this expression, punchline? It's like a joke. Yeah, when you're telling a joke and when you get to the punchline, that's like when you get to the important part. Oh, I get it. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh, you start, you know, when you start, especially when it's a long joke, you start telling the story and then boom. Okay. okay. And then it, when it comes to the important part, the punchline. So then this person says, when I got to the punchline, I knocked the glass of water on the floor with my hand. She had never parked in front of my driveway. Of course it's B. Let's do this listening exercise. I'm sorry, I don't know why this is. Okay. Listen to an interview with actor Tom Wiley. What jobs does he talk about? Welcome back, everyone. Listen to an interview with actor Tom Wiley. What jobs does he talk about? Welcome back, everyone. We are talking to Hollywood star Tom Wiley. Before the break, we were talking about your life, Tom, before you became a big star. I mean, you didn't just become a star overnight. You struggled for many years. You can say that again. Tell us a little about it. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, I think I must have worked 20 or 30 different jobs. Really? That's a lot. Well, in the beginning, I couldn't find steady work as an actor, so I had to do something to put food on the table. You have to eat, right? That's interesting. So, what kinds of jobs did you have? A little bit of everything, I guess. I worked as a taxi driver, in a department store, and painting houses, to name a few. I wasn't good at any of them. I think I ended up getting fired from most of those jobs. Oh, yeah? Come on, tell us a few stories. This is so embarrassing. Well, one time I was working for a big department store in Chicago, in the luggage department. It was so boring. I mean, we didn't have many customers during the day, and that's when I worked. Sometimes, when I got sleepy, 
I used to lie down behind the luggage racks and take a nap. So what happened? Well, one day I got caught by my boss, and he fired me on the spot. It was terrible. Listen then there was the time I decided to paint about houses. Yeah, uh, you know, okay. you have to climb these well, high ladders I I must to do the job, right? Or thirty well, different jobs. It turned out that really? I was afraid That's of that. What happened? The what first time I climbed up a ladder, I got right? dizzy and fell That's and broke my wrist. So, oh, no. what kinds of yes. jobs did you have? But the worst thing was that when I, I fell, hey, I knocked as a taxi driver and it came to a department store and painting houses, to name a few. Where's that sound coming from? Did you hear that? Yes. I have no other windows open. I think they want to us have the microphone. Listen to an interview department. It was that so occurs. boring. I mean, we didn't have many customers during the day, and that's when I worked. Sometimes when I got sleepy, I used to lie down behind the lug broke my wrist. No. Yes. But the worst thing was that when I fell, I knocked the paint over and it came down all over my co-workers. So, naturally, uh, again. Any other war stories? Well, you're not going to believe this, but I got hired as a cab driver. I drove a taxi, but that only lasted a few days. Did you get fired? How did you guess? On my third day, I had an accident. Luckily, no one was hurt. My passenger was fine, but it scared me to death. That was enough for me, and that was the end of my days as a driver. It seems you're a little accident prone. It's a good thing you made it as an actor. Yes, I guess you could say that. Thanks for sharing your stories with us. Coming up after the break, we'll talk with Tom about his latest movie, scheduled for release in September. Okay, so he was a taxi driver, a department store clerk, and a house painter. I don't know why. So we finished number two, and then... Okay. Listen to a call in a radio show, then choose the phrase that best complete each sentence. Welcome to Ask Eliza, the radio show about manners. Our first caller is Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. What's your question today? Well, I just got a new job, and I'm going to a big company dinner next weekend. All the directors and managers will be there, so I'm pretty nervous. Let me guess. You've never been to a formal dinner before. That's right. And you're wondering what's appropriate and what's considered bad form. Exactly. I just don't know what to say. Well, talking about your personal life isn't a good idea. And asking your coworkers and managers personal questions can be considered inappropriate. So what do people talk about? At these kinds of events, it's typical to talk about less personal topics, such as travel, weather, and entertainment. Have you seen any good movies lately? Yeah, I just saw Crazy Motorcycle Killers. What a great movie. Uh, Killers? Maybe that's not such a good one to talk about. What are you reading these days? Hmm. Oh, I'm reading a biography about David Beckham. It's really interesting. That's better. You can talk a little about that. But be sure to ask questions, too. It's always best to listen more than you talk, especially when you're new. Okay. I feel a little more prepared now. Thanks, Eliza. No problem, Jonathan. And remember, have a good time. So Jonathan is going to a business meeting, correct? It was a business dinner, I think. It's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about his personal life. The movie Jonathan mentioned, not appropriate to talk about. Eliza advises Jonathan to talk less and listen more. 
and then the reading again. Why is, oh, that's done. Here, let's have a conversation with the last 20 minutes we have. Let me tell you one story about what happened to me in San Miguel. The first time I went to San Miguel, maybe it was in the year 2000. I was going to teach. So we were eight teachers that we were going to live in San Miguel maybe for three months. The majority of the teachers, they were foreigners, extranjeros, backpackers. But there was this, this boy, he was very interesting because he was very quiet. He was very, very, very quiet, and but very educated. He was from Chile. But I always said, he is interesting. I want to talk to him because he was always reading and, and, and dibujando and drawing. So when we, we got on the, on the company car to go to San Miguel, I was talking to him. So you're from Chile. Oh, yes. And etc. So when we went to San Miguel in La Casa, he was my, my roommate, compañero cuarto. It was him. So, okay. <laughs> so I remember we were changing. So él se quitó la camisa en un pijamas. When he took his shirt off, I promise you, in all his, imagine el 2000, nadie estaba tatuado en el 2000. He had in his chest 666. In the stomach, a pentagram. And he had the devil here. He had devil, Satan everywhere. I'm, holy shit. Mean, oh my God. <laughs> and he just tells me, do you have a problem with my tattoos? No, 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 no problem. But, I, I, you know, I was scared that night. <laughs> I remember I told him, hey, look, if you're satanic, that's no problem. But please do not practice any voodoo or, or, or blood in the room. Respect. This is my room, too. So please respect. If you're going to do satanic, <laughs> whatever, please outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> David, you read too many books. And he wanted to talk to me about the devil. Uh, but really? you know, yeah, about Lucifer, about the religion. But now, no. now I wish I had spoken with him about that because it would have been interesting. Where, where was that boy from? Chile. Chile. Ah, oh, nice. Muy educado, pero... The thing is that if you see on, it, on Brazil, it is it is uh, no sé cómo decirlo registrada una iglesia registrada la iglesia de Satan. <laughs> oh no, there's many countries that have that. Yeah. Sí, pero in in, in Latin America is the only country that I know that is uh, que es registrada oficialmente existe. Yeah. Allison, have you ever have you ever read the Ten Commandments of Lucifer? Uh, I have uh, read about it, but I don't remember the ten. Read them tonight. They are very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I have read. It is. Those, if, you, yeah. if you compare the Ten Commandments of Lucifer to the Bible, Ten Commandments, oh, I Very prefer. Very similar. I, no, I, I, like, I like more Lucifers. <laughs> they, 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 have, they have more logic. <laughs> so, but now, now I understand what this person from Chile, because, saben a quien se parecía? A Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. 
that's why that's why for me he was very interesting because he was very educated and i would have never in my life imagined that he was full of lucifer tattoos <laughs> Yo me acuerdo que Simon le dijo a todos mis compañeros y compañeras, es que íbamos niñas y niños, right? Entonces, teníamos que dormir, no podíamos dormir unisex. Y yo, hey, voy a, me va a sacrificar en la noche. Oh, man, he's going to kill me. But no, he was a very, very nice person. Sacrifice. Yeah. You know, so I, the, I, the first night you stay awake all long night right yes i was scared <laughs> i seen the the teacher prior prior <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe no because i remember we turned off the light right and i was and i said no no puedo no puedo and i turned on the light and i think his name was luis i forget i forget and i said hey luis yes yes he hablaba lo peor. yes okay <laughs> i said luis if you are satanic, that's no problem. It's okay. But just please don't do anything in the room. <laughs> you know, I was, please just don't do anything. You know, pero me dice, has leído muchos libros o crees muchos cuentos, me dice. It's different. My religion is different. Let me talk to you about it. I'm, no, no, you're crazy. <laughs> but now, 20 years later, I wish I did talk to him because it, it was interesting. So that that was one interesting. That was one interesting. So you were a believer in that time. No, I, I I was never a believer, but I really didn't care about religion. I, I don't get it. Why you were so scared? I mean, because of that. Nowadays, if I met a person like him, I wouldn't be that scared because I don't believe in that. I mean, no, but 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 that's what you said. That's what you said. Nowadays, this was 20 years ago. This was my first experience with with a sat satanic person. It was my first experience. I had not read books about Satanism. I didn't have much knowledge. In that time, I, I imagined that satanic people were bad. I was a little I, ignorant. Uh, yeah, the prejuicio, how, how do you say prejuicio, prejuicio? Prejudice. That you, yeah, you had the bad idea that he exactly. was really a bad person. Yes, <laughs> in, in that time, in that time. But now, I, I that's why I always remember him. Y le buscado in, in internet, you know, with YouTube and Facebook, I'm sorry. And then there's another story. Listen to this, ladies. <laughs> there was another teacher. He was from Venezuela. Every boy, we hated that teacher. We hated him. Because he was extremely, extremely handsome. Pero es que it was... I have never seen something like that in my life. He was, he, he was like, he was, I promise you, he was like, like Brad Pitt, long hair, blue eyes, chili, you know, and, uh, and he was a very nice person, but we hated him because when we went, como salíamos el grupo, right? When we went to discotheques or bar in San Miguel, really, man, hasta los hombres lo volvían a ver. He was the attention. <laughs> and, you know, we were like, man, este buena onda, pero nos está arruinando el vacío. You know, all the boys, we were like, because every girl wanted, like, I remember one time we were eating, and actually girls came to our table. Hi, what's your name? David, no, not you, him. Oh, hey, te buscan. <laughs> Yeah, that really, man, people, pero suerte tuvimos que él se tuvo que ir a las dos semanas, como, oh, oh, hey, no, sorry, he, not sorry, <laughs> he was very, yeah, 
he, but you know what? He was a very, very nice person. I remember one time we were in a bar. Le conté cinco or six cartas. The bartenders. Bartenders. I never seen that. Le daban. Hey, here. Yeah, ¿qué, ¿Qué es esto? Um, te mandan el teléfono, ya. He's, hey, thank you. Like women were sending him his phone numbers. <laughs> Hey, yo hace 20 años estaba en mi, en mi peak, pero este hombre me, me voló del mapa, man, a todos. <laughs> so, but, he, but he was a very, very nice person. He was from Venezuela, and, um, pero sí nos alegramos cuando se fue. No, pero después la decepción de las cheras, como, hey, Oscar se fue. Oh, no so, hey, pues, ¿qué somos nosotros? <laughs> Yeah. So it, it was some very interesting stories. Do you have pictures? Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I, I always talk to my wife about that. And um también lo busqué en, 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 en Facebook and because remember this was the year 2000. I I think cellular phones didn't exist. You know, so no, we don't I don't have pictures. I, I wouldn't show you. You know, I remember I had long hair, you know, like, and, um, but no, there were no pictures. Por eso es que nuestra generación es la mejor. No queda evidencia de todo lo que hicimos. Yes or no, Bert? Claudia? There's no Sorry, evidence. I was looking for, for the, um, meme, the meme that the girl who sat and outside but is smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that were you? <laughs> yeah, you were so sad because the guy left, but inside you were smart. <laughs> yeah, but but let me tell you my favorite story as a teacher. There was a couple of, there was a girl. She was from um, she was from un país de Estonia. She was from Estonia. Have you seen how beautiful Russian women are? She was, I don't know, she was like a Scarlett Johansson. She was so, so, so beautiful. And the other girl, she was from South Africa. Beautiful. Very tall, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pero they were lesbians. Said ellas eran pareja. But they were they were very feminine. Now, lastimosamente el homosexualismo aún, digamos que hoy ya se acepta más. Imagine 20 years ago. And especially women. Women. So, um, aquí era al revés porque every month, Different teachers came. Yo me quedé en San Miguel un año. Entonces me, me venían gente nueva. And that's when I met that couple. When I saw them, I'm like, yes, yes. Man, finally, me mandan beautiful women. I was so happy and they were lesbian. But okay. So I remember one day um, we went to a bar. And Everybody stopped for a bit. I was like, wow, they were so beautiful. O sea, hoy, hoy bien común ver extranjeros en El Salvador. Antes no. Mucho menos en San Miguel. So, I remember there was this, this person, this was the movie star. Hola, ¿cómo están? They were like talking in inside the bar and he asked us, what's your name? I'm David, what's your name? Como se llamaba ella? I forgot their name, but they didn't speak any Spanish. So I was the translator. Y, y le gustan los chicos salvadoreños. Hey, do you like Salvadorian boys? But I was telling them, pretend and just say yes. Oh, sí, mucho, mucho. Las mujeres también son bellas. Oh. So then this person, 
he told he told the table because the complete bar was listening. <laughs> so he said, "Okay, vamos a hacer algo atrevido. Si se dan un besito, un piquito, las dos, les invitamos a un balde." And I was like, "Yes." So, but nobody in the bar spoke English. Only the teachers and me. So I told them, hey, they want you to kiss, but pretend. I was like, do I do it? So God, you know, like, no. <laughs> and they were girlfriends. I said, live and I said, anyway. And they said, sí. oh, que bien, que bien, vamos a ver, beso, beso. <laughs> and they kissed. Like, but, and everybody, yeah. Hey, we started drinking for free. And then he said, Si se dan un beso con lengua, les, les damos la caja. ¿Qué opinan? Yo, I was thinking money. Yes, yes. And so then they kissed, you know, and no dieron la caja. So it, the funny part was that the whole night I was dancing with the two girls, young medio. Y todos los hombres se me quedaban viendo como, ay, bastardo. O sea, como con una cara de envidia así de. Más no sabían que yo era, estaba ahí de chute. Because the girls, they were dancing sexy with me. I was in the middle and they were dancing. Wow. But everybody was looking at me. And, and creo que deseaban ser yo esa noche. O quizás fueron, y quizás esa historia está ahí por siempre. Uy, había un chero. Mira, estaba hablando con dos cheras y la, la dos se les subían. Pero más no sabían. So that's, those are strange stories. And they are, they all happened in San Miguel. So that's why I love San Miguel, Bert. <laughs> Every time I go to San Miguel, I have good memories. That's memories. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. How, what about you? Have you ever had anybody in your work strange or something? So imagine my stories. I can tell you many stories, but I, I, I will always remember my satanic friend, my very handsome friend, and my two lesbian friends. <laughs> Those were stories, I, they were so fun. They were so, so fun. So um, what about you? Have you ever had a story? Have you ever had a strange friend? In your work, mm, no personal story, but I don't know if you have heard something related to uh, a place, a discotheque that a guy appeared suddenly, and he invited all the people that were present in that time, and it was a uh, I don't remember the name of the discotheque, but it was in the it's close to the cemetery. And the rumor has it that the guy invited all the people present, and then he just crossed the wall straight to the tombs really? at midnight. I don't know if that's a real story, but this is so it's a rumor here in San Miguel. So it was so weird because it was a really handsome guy with money. I mean, rich person, his appeal, and he, he that's what he invited. I mean, he had money. Mm -hmm. So, but at the so end, he, he just disappeared. He All just the people watched him crossing the wall. Oh, man. That's scary. <laughs> Was that in Papagayo? No. Uh, Melody. I don't know if you heard Melody. Uh, I, I think that's the name of the discotheque. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I never heard. Hey, that's cool. I would have followed him. A, I would have followed him. But... <laughs> hey, hey, don't but go. That's scary. That's scary. Yeah. What about you? Do you have any strange stories?
Jonathan and um, Claudia, Ronald, in Concentrics, there's many stories about ghosts. I have never heard anything about it. Did you ever hear about this? Gold? Did you, okay, you, you work in, in Concentrics, right? Yes. That's that's by the Torre Telefonica building, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. The was that from Movistar, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Did you ever hear the story about when they called that there was a bomb? No. <laughs> when what that I used to have a Dell. Dell maybe was the first call center to come to El Salvador. It was like in the year 2006, 2005, 2006. And um, I was there. I do him those two stories. One time, remember a long time ago, Primero de Mayo, el FMLN se impresiona su marcha. That the, in the march, the, it, always, it always finished in Salvador del Mundo, right? So when they finish, it says about the mundo, and they said, "Oh, Del, son gringos, empresa gringa," and they started they started throwing fire, rocks, and they started breaking windows. I have never heard that. Yeah, we were there because that was the the alarms activated in the complete building. Miren, como menos de. 15, 20 minutos, llegaron la seguridad de la embajada de Estados Unidos. No, la policía nunca llegó. The embassy of the security, because there were many gringos in, in the building. That was, oh, yeah, I mean, they came like with un gran relajo. The second part was that during the Halloween, Okay, there was a, I don't know if the embassy or the, um, the Israel is still there. The office of Israel was in that building. En el de la par está, pero para entrar, tenía que ser. So in Halloween, there was a stupid person in there, in Dell, who decided to go dress as a Taliban. Can you imagine? So the idiot, the idiot, he went, porque era, everybody had to go dress, you know. So he went to the building vestido de, like Osama bin Laden con dinamita afuera. Oh, pero, oh, yo y eso cuando cayó. Like his face on the floor. Ah, oh, they were going to kill him. You know, the security of, of Israel. He, no, no, it's, it's, it's the mentira, it's Halloween, it's Halloween. Por él fue que cambiaron la, la regla de, de cómo vestirse en Halloween. And, Porque but, ahora lo hacen, pero ahora ya se llegan a cambiar al, al lugar. Pero lo que él hizo es como... Como ir vestido de la MS a un barrio de 18, o vice versa. He was very... Can you imagine going into a building dressed with dinamita on you? I don't, I don't, I don't get that political part, sir, because uh, at the end of the day, you know, United States was the one that financed this Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda. No, no, of course. They were, no, of course, but the problem I mean, is that this that, is something that I, I I don't I mean I don't follow it that well because Israel and United States or America they are behind Al no they still are behind Al Qaeda and all yeah. this terrorist group in the Middle East. Yeah, but the, the problem is remember that that uh, this Donald Trump when they, they were in debate with Hillary Clinton. He threw it away in his face. You create Al Qaeda. Yes. That's what he said. So I don't now I don't have no. idea 
why they were so surprised when this guy appeared dressing like Osama bin Laden. Everybody would get scared if you're in a building and you see somebody walking with dynamite. I mean, if you're and in a building, I and you wonder if you were scared if you see a a, a person dress or like a Muslim and say Allahu Akbar. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, but like you said, maybe whoever invented Al-Qaeda, whatever, but in this entonces, it was 2003, 2004, estaba bien caliente lo de las Twin Towers, everything, so, you know, everything was bad, and, you know, se estaban explotando, but imagine you're, it's, it's like, it's like if you're in a bank and you see somebody walking with a gun, aunque sea de pistola de gun, you still get scared. And you know you won't take a chance. But it, those are famous stories from that building. <laughs> what about you? Do, uh, really? Yeah, you never... that was scary. That was yeah. And I, I, I never saw it when, when I, when I came in. Ya había pasado la huya. Hey, what happened? What happened? I never knew who who that person was. The que era de tal piso. So I, I, I never knew. I never saw him. But everybody talked about it. What happened? That he was coming in with dynamite and se le tiró la, la seguridad del ministro de Israel, whatever. And really, you never had a, a strange, a strange um, co worker class or in school, in the university, you never had a strange. I have. A strange history. All right, tell us. My work. Mm -hmm. I was with my co-workers in Estaba como puedes decir estaba. I was. It was a bottle of water. Okay. The there was a bottle of water. Repeat. They was, no, they know they is people. If you're talking about a bottle of water, there was a bottle of water. There was a, a bottle of water mm -hmm. on, on the table. In it's like uh, somebody. Um, Pushed, uh, no sé, aventó la botella. Somebody threw the bottle. Like somebody threw the bottle. And nadie había sido, o sea, enfrente de nosotros, como que alguien aventó la botella. Okay, wait, wait. So, Jonathan, you are in a table, you see the bottle, you see the bottle and fly. Yes. And I see the bottle fly. That's scary. What did you do after that? <laughs> and we move uh, of this place. Wow, that's scary. <laughs> that, that's like like the ghost of San Miguel. But I like the ghost of San Miguel because he invites everybody to drink. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Any more stories? So you have all your life, you've met only normal people. You have never met somebody different. For me, no. When you say it like that, I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Because I only know normal people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes I have a like... thirsting story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes you meet somebody different. There's always somebody. I had a very, very good friend. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you always meet somebody different. Somebody, um, they, they always make good stories. What, I don't know if I ever told you about a student I had. He was, uh, I think I told you about him, no? He was, uh, he is a woman now. Or I think he had a sex change or something, but I remember I was teaching and I saw him come in. Immediately, immediately, you can see he was a man. Pero bien educado, you know? And uh, <laughs> en su clase había una monja. It was only like five people. So I said, hi, hi, sit down. So, hello. So, what is your name? Douglas. So he was telling me his name was Douglas, but he was dressed like a secretary. Very formal. Okay. And I remember the class was basic. It was a basic class. So it was very difficult because, okay, very good. So imagine it's like, okay, Dennis, ask her, him, her, him. Oh, sorry. It was very difficult. So I remember in the break, in the break, I said, Douglas, can I talk to you? Yes. Okay, Douglas, um, please help me. <laughs> How do you want, you know, for us to call you, he or she? I don't want to offend you. He me dijo, she, teacher. It's okay, she? Yes, no problem. Por mi mejor, because, you know. Okay, so after the break, um, eh, I said, okay, class, Douglas, name is Perla. And it's a she. And um, I will always remember Perla because I think it was the first time he was, he felt welcome in the group. Porque todas las clases hicieron cheros. Imagine, estuvieron cuatro meses juntos. So I remember after class, we went to eat dinner, the complete class. And he was a very, very nice person. But one day, No, one time he didn't come to class for four days. And I said, hey, hey, Perla, what happened? We had exam and he was in the hospital. Because um, even el bus, he, he lo golpearon. Lo quisieron tocar, he defended himself. And, um, pobrecito. Because of Perla, you know, I understood a little bit more about how they suffer. Yeah, so I, 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 y lo tengo en Facebook. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yes, he's a full woman. But you know the interesting part? He works in a call center. Hey, teacher, by the way, uh, Concentrics is the this is the company that support the kind of movement like LGBT uh, plus? Uh, a, no, because, I think I think they all do. Oh, oh, tell us, tell us did that too. Many companies uh, that are not all involved in um, call centers or whatever. For example, my company support the community and uh, many people has tattoos or something like that or for example the manager of the company here in El Salvador some uh he's I, I think he's gay but I, I don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh sometimes uh once uh he painted her hair pink oh, okay yeah you know what I what I always por metidos quiero saber esto but no me atrevo a preguntarle a Perla. Because now Perla is a full woman. Por lo que veo, se puso implants or whatever. I want to ask Perla, when you go to the bathroom, which bathroom do you go to? Women's or men? Just for curiosity. <laughs> Porque 
Quiero verlo en la ley que sigue el, el call center, like. Pero no me atrevo a preguntar. The, 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 the bird, I mean, in the in concentrics, they say in an email that they were celebrating the pride. And mm -hmm. uh, this is French in English, salir del closet, coming mm -hmm. out. I think yes. that's coming so, out. That's the that what you say how you say in English, right? Coming out. Yes, come out. Yes, coming out. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, this is the month of the pride, right? So I was looking into the social media that La Constancia is being funado. You know the expression in English, funado or cancel from the social media because they supporting the the community. Uh, if you see, you read all the haters, they will will cancel, they won't consume any product of the La Constancia because they defend the, what is the traditional family. <laughs> so okay. think about it. They, at the same time, they are ex expressing hate yes. to other That's people. That's not going to happen. It's, it's beer. No, not just the traditional people like to drink beer. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, I, I I think in my opinion it's okay. I, I personal my opinion, I never have a problem with gay people. I'm, my best friend is gay. I think my brother is gay. I have an older brother that I'm. I'm very sure he's gay. I, I am surprised si sale que no es because <laughs> I am more sure that he is. And that's no problem, but like that what I don't like is that if you're a man and you want to be a woman, okay, good, but don't try to convince me that you're a woman. <laughs> For me, you're always a man. It's okay. If you feel you're a woman, that's no problem. <laughs> but um, Teacher. Mm -hmm. But I wonder something about this story, about your, well, about this guy, tra transgender, right? Yes. Uh, you, you mentioned that he works in a call center, right? Mm -hmm. So what happened with the with this company? How do they handle this case? Because I guess that this guy has a male name, right? Yeah, they do, so, exactly. All right. I, I, would, I would like to ask him, but we're really not, good friends for me to ask him you know yeah but I, I'm it, wondering that because uh, I had a friend that he mentioned a case similar to this one there was a guy that was working in a call center they start together the class and everything but this guy was a gay and he used to use a different name and the boys, he used to use a different voice, so so a female voice. Mm -hmm. But when in a, in the call center they realized that he was doing that, he got fired immediately. He got fired because he was using a different name. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly, but it was let's say like Alex Alexander, and he used to say Alexandra through the through the phone, right, to the, with the customer. And then he used he was using a different voice, like a female voice. Okay, but you know, okay, I don't know why, but sometimes it is okay for you to say a different name. Sometimes the call center, like if your name is Pablo, I don't know, Juan. Sometimes the call center they tell you, "Hey, digan que se llaman Jonathan," but que soy gringo. Sometimes. But sometimes you can't lie because every call is recorded. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. So uh, there's a, in, in some, depends on the account in la cuenta because yes. there are some legal, legal things. So there you can't lie. So maybe, maybe that's why this person was yeah. fired. Yeah. Because if, si era por homophobia, oh, you hubiera mandado a la empresa, creo. Yes. What I think is that they use they use something uh, another excuse uh, something like metrics or stuff like that. But but at the oh. end, ev everyone concluded that he got fired because of that. 
Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I don't know. You, you, yeah. Maybe, the, like, um, in fact, sometimes there are some calls in a call center that if you don't say, "Hi, my name is David. This call is recorded." If you don't say that, you get fired. Oh. Mm, I have something to say because uh, I. Mm, I, I don't I'm not sure but but now in the twos there are a part that uh, is for example it has name and then is known as and then they can uh, give a name for example if it's a if it's a woman a man a, a male name and the other thing. <laughs> okay, but but still, you leave like let let's say if your name is Juan Perez, known as Roxana. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the, okay, okay. The law says that. Entonces, the law still the term. Okay, the law still determines that your birth name is the legal name. Yeah, but uh, if someone but, call. Mm, no, but yeah, I think that's a good option for people that want to be different. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, um, que diga sorry. known as. Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm, sorry. Actually, I have a supervisor that um, he born like a woman, but now he is a guy. So everybody told and speak with him like a boy. And actually, the legal name was a woman, but everybody knows what the name like a man. So depends of the the account and the the type of work. I think. But but he is a woman, right? Yes, but he was transgender. I think. But, I don't but, know. But, but you know, you when, know. I don't know. You know when you someone know. Uh, changes its name. De, en la partida de nacimiento eh, eh, se pone que se cambió el nombre, entonces, yeah. pero en el DUI no se puede poner que ahora se llama tal persona, tiene que poner su, uh -huh. su nombre de nacimiento y que es conocido como. Yeah, I, I really hope El Salvador doesn't adopt the laws that are happening in the United States because this is going to be very stupid. Okay, because imagine, imagine. You're a man, but you feel like you're a woman. Okay, entonces you're a woman. Right? And so that's what's happening in the United States, correct? Yes. Okay, yes. so what's going to happen? What's going to happen con el pedófilo? With the man who is 40 and he had sex with a nine-year-old boy, the Navanos. He can say, yes, but I feel that I'm 10. Y la gente va a decir, no, you're 40. Hey, va a tener todo el derecho de decir eso. Like the other person who feels he's a woman or she's a woman and he feels he's a man. You know, that's why that's why I think this is going to open a Pandora box. So imagine, imagine like the normal man. Ain't hey, so that means I can go to the woman's bathroom now. I uh, the pervert. Y me quedo, oh, hey, no, no me pueden hacer nada because I feel like I'm a woman. No. So that, that, that's, but that's not legal now, but in I the United States that it is. That in some countries, in some states, yes. No, uh, change the gender, yes, but uh, change your age is not legal. No, it's not. I, I no. saw. Uh, Allison, Allison, I, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it's illegal to change your name. I'm saying that if a person. Un pedófilo says he feels he is 11 years old. Tiene todo el derecho to defend himself. Like that woman who says she's a man or that man who says he's a woman. O sea, why does the law believe a man who thinks he's a woman and doesn't believe a man who thinks he's 11? O sea, ¿me entiendes? O sea, tiene que ser equitativo. So that, that's what I, no, I, I think you're confusing mm, the term because uh, yeah, I mean, I, nowadays nobody is claiming that it has 10 or nine years old. I mean, I, I don't know that yet, but because of that, even on a straight person, straight person, straight man, a straight woman 
could say the same. Like I, I'm straight women can say, I'm, I'm a five years old girl, but that's not what's happening now. I'll leave that. I don't know. No, that I'm, yet. I'm, I'm not saying that's happening. I'm not. I don't think you understand what, I, what I'm trying to tell you. I think you understand me, right, Dennis? What I'm saying is yep. that and what I'm saying is that there will exist a pervert, un pervertido. Unfortunately, if I see still un pervertido, he's going to go to jail because he he's un pedophilo, he's a pedophile. Yeah. What I'm saying is that his argument, his argument, tiene todo el derecho a defenderse. Hey, pero yo siento, I feel like I'm 11. Lo mismo, like that woman. Yes, but I feel like I'm a woman. Okay, so entonces you can be a woman because you feel like but you're a woman. The, but the thing is that it, personally, I think it's different and it, it is not legal yet. It, it happens. Yeah, it happens. I don't know but, of any case right now, but but I imagine it will happen. Yeah, I, there, there are some old men saying that they are a nine years old girl or five years old girl and they say they are bisexual and and the people say ask eh, why do a nine girl nine years old girl eh, think that she is bisexual that's not logic because eh, a child doesn't have enough eh, I don't know how to say it, have enough uh, knowledge knowledge to say that she or he is physical. But the same question goes to <laughs> the same question goes to why does this man think he's a woman? Or why does this woman think she's a man? The same the question will is, appear. The difference I think is that they are adults. So they they want that uh, the world's called by by woman and my my sister she lives in, in in las vegas and she tells me that in the partida de nacimiento in the birth certificate there's no sex for the baby <laughs> no neither in canada can you imagine it? Mm -hmm. no 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 sex for baby like that's that's not necessary man you know that's I'm sorry, you you support that there is no need to put on the on the birth certificate the the gender. So no, no, what... I, no, I don't support oh, okay. that. No, I don't no, support no. that. Oh, sorry, I, I don't think that's necessary. I agree. Because I agree. like for example, I have a son, he is six. If my son is going to be gay, okay, but by nature, not by pressure, por presión social or something. You know, but uh, like I was watching this Camilo, this cantante. Yeah. He has a baby y de entrada no, no le han puesto sexo al bebé. No, el baby va a decidir, oh my God. <laughs> it's not, I think that is, this is natural. This is the natural of the other people. Yeah. And it's not like religion. Religion is very different because you may take the decision that, I'm gonna be, I don't know, a Christian. I'm gonna be a, how do you say, judío? Jew. Jew. Uh, there, you have the option to take that decision. But if I am, I am a man or I'm a woman, I don't have a decision. So, yeah, I think that is stupid. And you know, give the, I, option. the majority. I'm well, my friend, like my best friend, who, who is gay, and I have many gay friends and and lesbian. But it's the older generation, that loves. the young generation, is that they think differently. Hmm. But I don't know. But in the United States, um, it's it's está viendo algo loco. Está viendo que hay universidades. Listen to this. Yo mañana voy a la universidad y quiero que me digan she. Y si no me dicen she, te mando a la universidad. Pero el sábado que vaya quiero que me digan they. O hoy, o sea, quiero que me digan cómo me siento yo ese día. And creo que ya hay registrados 24 pronombres. He, she, we, they, 
the inclusive language. So it's becoming a big, I don't know. And, and it's, it's going to happen in El Salvador. I imagine like in, it's starting to happen now, but uh, I think like in 10 years, it's going to be, it's going to be bigger. But it, it, so that's that back, back to my, 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 my student. Algún día le voy a preguntar eso al pobre Perla. But he was, he, he was a very nice person, man. Me dio lástima cuando lo golpearon. You know, he was my friend. Yo, yo lo hubiera defendido, obviamente. Pero me dijo algo bien triste. Me dice, usted no tiene idea que es ser así. Me dice, solo en mi casa, desde que pongo dos pies fuera de mi casa, every day, every day, from my house to the bus stop, to the bus, every day people are following, like, mamacita, every day. So yes, I do understand why buscan su propio mundo, pero pobrecito, me, me dio cólera cuando me enteré que lo golpearon. <clears throat> so, but now, now he is a woman. No, and I think that, that that's cool. So they deserve respect, like, they do. like yeah, us, well, like everyone. Course. But another thing is that they are they feel that they have the right to change natural things or yeah, that's not, yeah. like that. And I I was trying to remember the name of a gay that had, had a speech defending that they they can't do that. Like what you say, that the add pronouns and stuff like that. So he said, I, I'm a man, but I like men. I'm did a you, man, I'm sorry. And did I, you but see? I like men. I think last last month that woman, la 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 ganadora de la mejor nadadora de Estados Unidos in this moment, she's a man. Uh, in that, uh, yeah, I don't know how to say, so I'm going to speak in Spanish, right? <laughs> eh, se hizo una nueva ley acerca de las competiciones atléticas que si el cambio de género fue en la adolescencia solamente si fue antes de la adolescencia eh, puede participar por ejemplo en competiciones femeninas o ¿Y sea que lo que hizo poco? esa persona sí oh, okay. eh, eh, because of that specific case oh, okay oh that, that's yeah. a, that's a good step that's a good step mm -hmm. okay así okay por lo menos can you imagine Mike Tyson in the women's boxing <laughs> exactly <laughs> Or, or Conor McGregor, hey, I feel like I'm a woman today. He's a woman in MMA. <laughs> We're fighting. Actually, I think that rule happened because the boxing fire when the lady, o sea, the woman, yeah. fight with the transgender, I think, was that the other la, was la, a man. It was a and, man. Uh, the MMA. And, uh -huh. yeah. Yes, because it's not the same. The the force is different. It's, it's so yeah, it's true. Hey, but I'm I'm happy that that law passed, Allison. Que bien porque era bien injusto. That's not fair. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have any plans for this weekend class? No. I'm oh yeah, going Bert to, is coming to San to Salvador. Shopping. Yeah, you going shopping where? In San Salvador, and also we have the uh, birthday party on Sunday. Does your husband like shopping with you? Yes, oh. he he will shopping with me. I hate shopping so much. We love it. <laughs> No, but you know, you know, one thing, one, one thing I, I don't understand about, about women, I don't understand why women get angry with men because we don't like to shop. So, like when I go with my wife, so do you like the shoes? Yeah. My, my husband likes more than me. Really? Yeah. What, what's going on with okay. him? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when my, my wife. My, saw... I I really like to go shop 
shopping with him because uh, if I like a dress, I say, oh, I really like that dress. And, and he said, oh, uh, wait, buy it or uh, I don't know. No, my wife, <laughs> my wife with the, with the handbags, mira esta que bonita, do you like it? It's not that I like it or not. I really don't care because I don't understand that fashion. You know, pero una vez me desquité. You know what? You know what the trick is, Dennis? La llevé a Epa. Oh. <laughs> I really like to go to Epa. Oh yeah, no, but I took my wife. Mira esta, esta clavo, mejor cuarta o media. ¿Qué, qué, qué, cuál, cuál crees que más? Y you should have seen her. I don't know, no sé. I oh. know more about the, those things than my husband because I, I am a mechatronics engineer. So I have yeah. studied some mechanics and electronics and other things. And I have more knowledge about uh, metrics. Yeah, you know, one thing like yesterday, I think I was in Simon with my wife because my nephew, my nephew is six. She wanted, le tenemos que comprar un regalo. And I said, buy him a toy. No. I want to buy him ropa. No, man. When you're six, you don't care. When you are six, you want a toy. Yeah. Don't worry. Ropa va a tener. No. Entonces, why? ¿Por qué me decís que haga con vos? <laughs> so, you know. So, yo le quería comprar un Transformer. Un Mario. Man, it was so cool. Pero, yeah. But, you know, uh, but I love women. I mean, so they're complicated. But I imagine, Bert, you like shopping of um, gadgets? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I will go to Casa Rivas. <laughs> that oh. for sure. All right, cool. I have a una tienda for that, Bert. Cuando me acuerdo, te voy a decir cuál es that you might like. I saw it in, in Metro Centro, but I forgot the name. What about anyone else? Does anyone else have a special plan? Actually, I have a plan for for this weekend. I am planning to go to a taco. And actually, I on on my way to a taco, I, I want to go to Malacatupan. Have you have one of you guys have been there? Malacatupan. What is Salto that? De Mal Malacatupan. Oh, Do you no. recommend that place? I saw it in YouTube. Can you yeah, spell yeah, it me or too. put it in the chat the name, please? Because I will Google it. Yeah. Me... Hey, ustedes no se sientan mal cuando ven a, a Googlers de otros países que conocen el país mejor que nosotros. Ah. Da pena, ¿eh? como, hey, qué chivo ahí donde. Yes. Like... Thank you. Like, that's in El Salvador. Wow. I used to live in San Vicente and uh, I just went to Ambulapa. It's, that's all. And I saw videos for any strangers that go to Ataco and then go to Sushi Toto and then go to Cotepeque and yeah. then go to uh, Fronteras. And, and they tell you the story like, wow, <laughs> El Salvador is beautiful and we don't know. <laughs> okay, then yeah. class, I hope you have a very good weekend. It's very hot in San Salvador. I don't know if it's hot in your house. But it's very hot here. I'm going to take a shower before I sleep. <laughs> okay? So have a good weekend, okay? I'll see you Monday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.